Okay. Hey guys, what is going on? This is your girl Nisha here today giving you guys a brand new video. You guys already know, but I hope you guys are enjoying your day today as well. Hope you guys are having a good day, having fun. But yeah, but besides that guys, I'm going to give you guys another video on, you guys already know, the Wolf of Mondas. Uh, continuing playing the game until we beat it. And um... And also, guys, uh, we are going to continue where we left off from the last gameplay. Uh, we are still in episode 2. So, um, yeah, let's just let's get back to the game. And like I said, you know, I hope you really guys are enjoying the game. Um, if you guys haven't played this game or anything like that, I hope you guys are liking it. And hope you guys are enjoying the game with me as well. So, uh, yeah. But besides that, let's just continue playing and let's have fun i hope you guys do enjoy this video if you guys do please like favorite comment subscribe follow me on twitter be down in the description below and as always guys there's a good name shot uh there see you guys in the game let's get it all right guys so basically this is um where we left off from the last gameplay if you guys don't remember she just got swept away by Why she'd be glamoured as Snow White? What? Oh God, I'm sorry. That was probably about. She was looking to pay down debt. It ain't me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees, it's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Georgie. Hmm, not the first time I've heard that name. What do you know about him? We can just go talk to him. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here. Lily. Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there, um, is there anything we can do? No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. It's not charity. Okay. <laughs> is she? Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's it's a kind of, it's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or, I don't know, some old world shit will fuck your soul up. Holly, Lily's the best evidence we have right now. We can't surrender her body till I know it can't help the case anymore. This is really important to me. And the investigation is important to everyone. Look, why don't you come down with me to the business office and we'll see what we can do. That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. When you come back to the office, please try to make more of an effort with her. Just do it for me. It makes everything easier. Would do. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Beep, beep, beep. Sisters, yes, another trophy. Awesome. Ba 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 ba. Alright, we are here. <laughs> oh, Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? Or both? I'm a friend of Georgie's. Where is he? 
A friend? Hm. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. Is he, uh, alone in there? He's working with one of the dancers, but don't worry about that. Discretion is our guarantee. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we can <laughs> put in and pie. Taste of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Did you know Lily? She worked here. <sighs> My lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. Dee 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 dee. Is that him right there? What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. I can take it from here. Good luck. It's your face. You're All right. You never smile. How many times do I have to say it? You're supposed to turn the clients on. That's your job. You want them to feel happy. You want... Hey. Oh, it's you. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. Sake. You stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished. You, Georgie. Brilliant deduction, Sheriff. What do you want then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what, come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you. She's probably not quite beep, your beep, style. Beep. <laughs> You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target or one that will put up a fight? I'm not here for that. Oh, I'm not here for that. <laughs> Just stopped in for the chips then. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course he was, you dap git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. It's their own business. I think you're behind this. You got her a black market glamour as part of some twisted sex fantasy. Ooh, black market? <laughs> How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. <laughs> and we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Now look at him. Get that out of my face. This was part of the glamour we found on Lily's body. Take a good look. She was impersonating Snow White. <coughs> Why? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Big B. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, <coughs> now what to do with me? Go on, then. Take your 
your sad fucking face where I can't see it. Bloody bastard fucking shit. <clears throat> That's what you get. Get punched in the face. Fuck's sake. Fuck off, hands. <laughs> I need to ask you a few questions. Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee mm -hmm. is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written You're in it? You're a fucking moron. Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey! That's my personal property. <laughs> <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. <clears throat> <laughs> hey now. Give me the book. Look up the crap, Georgie. <laughs> I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Don't even think about it. Look, Georgie. Why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. Well, well. What's this? Looks like a floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I didn't have the key to it. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I've got to open up in a few hours. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. Jesus. You're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Oh, for fuck's sake. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. It doesn't really take that long. I just to answer the question. <laughs> uh, now he wants to do it, right? <laughs> Bloody come on, then. Fucking trash my business over this bullshit. <laughs> I tipped her a fatal town to my ass. What a load of crap. <laughs> Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so you can be happy about that. Okay. Thank you. Got the book. Here. This is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh, dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows Mr. That. Smith, 207. Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. <coughs> the girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. 
I mean, he sees something in there. Hello, business office. All right, let's see what we have over here. Lock's been busted open. The makeup broken open, but there isn't even a lock. <laughs> Beep, 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 gloss, beep. Compact glitter. Faith. Uh, so that's her stuff down there. That's a note. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Well, that jibes with what the woodsman told me. Excuse me. Oh, that's a girl. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. Somebody else said that to me on the way in. I guess we're all surprised. <laughs> You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. <laughs> Once upon a time. Does that help? What do they call you now? Whatever makes them happy. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Did you see Lily last night? You know, where she went or who she was with? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean, can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. <laughs> it's how things work here. By design. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. <clears throat> These lips. Uh-oh. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Sure thing. <laughs> okay. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. This isn't enough, but it's all I've got. Wait here for a second. Maybe she got something that could help us. I don't know. You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you. 
Right, she kind of helped me out right there. At least it's something. Wee 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 dee wee dee wee. That was just weird. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> the open arms hotel. Okay, now we're in a hotel. <laughs> okay. I should probably repair that. Okay, what's this? The rooms are anything like the lobby. They should cut their rates. Yeah, that's how much it is. Well, <laughs> that's crazy. Pants on, buddy. You have to check in first if you want a room. So come on, mosey on back, and we'll get you set up. Why can't I go upstairs? What's going on up there? Oh, uh. You. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. What so the? Now you know. <laughs> I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he, he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. Well, your secret's safe with me, all right? Let's not make a big thing of it. Well, it is a big thing to me, Bigby, and my secret wasn't exactly safe with you before. I mean, I have to say, that night when you saw me, I really didn't appreciate you telling Beast when I expressly asked you not to. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. <laughs> the victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie, Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The... the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes. Nobody I've recognized. Huh. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur <coughs> with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather. Sorry. Okay. That's not helping. <laughs> Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. <laughs> okay. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. <laughs> Yeah, we just get like easy trophies, and also we get the trophies like really fast too. It's funny. <laughs> 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 
be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just... It's not much of a report if I start picking and choosing which facts to include. I see. Well, here we are. Which one was it? I don't know what this is. Is it this one? No. Yes. It's just this one. <coughs> Two or four. in a place like this. Anything over here? Just a bed? You get health inspectors through here very often? I don't know. What do you think? Finding what you're looking for? I wasn't expecting much in here. But isn't this why you're here? Why you have the key? No. The key was just to be sure I found the right hotel. This isn't the room Lily was using. Oh. Okay, so we gotta go. There's something over here to see, so... So, are we done now? No. The room they met in was 207. Yeah, we're going to 207. Going to 207. You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Big B. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I... This is the room Lily was in. Oh, <sighs> fine. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, oh, shit. Beast? Uh, Be? Oh. Uh, How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been uh -oh. together through everything. This is not good. I you. I love it's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me with him? Oh, my no, God. No, Beast. It's not what it is. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet. I'm oh, sure he's getting mad. Just great. This is a murder investigation. She's helping me. Stop lying to me. What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife. Please listen to me. There's nothing going on. I'm mad. Uh, hey, bastard. I guess I finally see you for who you are. Stop. Stop it. You said you saw her that night. I should have fucking known. Listen to your wife. Just calm down and... Beast! Uh, he wants to find me. How do you think you're doing? <laughs> you aren't even listening to me. She's my wife. Oh, come on, let's fight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn, okay. It's transformed to a wolf now, come on. He don't wanna stop. What game over? Oh my god. I was pressing the button.
Okay, that was just weird. Yeah, he just don't want to give up. Like, I don't want to hit you no more. And, like, he wants to hit me back. Seriously. You everything! She's my fucking wife! <sighs> Shit. What have you done? Bigby. Look what you did to the door! You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back! You, you don't want to see this! Oh my god. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? <gasps> oh my god! Don't touch anything. Is this- is this- Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then- must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work at the front desk. Was anyone acting suspicious? Maybe moving a heavy piece of luggage or... Uh, he got the body out of here somehow. Jesus Christ. No, no, I didn't see anything like that. Damn. It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Yeah, that's not normal to me. Front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? At least that was a good finding scene. Kind of a person could do something again. Like that's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with a built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Uh. Let's see what story book. What's this? What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Monday version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Strange. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what's this. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Definitely <laughs> not. He brought wine. Classy. We shouldn't even be in here. Where is a tape? Uh they taking that. dress it's torn oh no she must have been wearing it he killed her and then and then he took it back off no there's no blood on it it must have been torn some other time what is it this is the same dress as the one in the book about snow I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it. 
to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. I guess he wanted to get the details right. God, role-playing as a person who really exists, who we know, that's just weird. I'm not sure who to feel worse for. <laughs> okay, no, I take that back. Uh, I just keep on looking. like she was lying down when she was killed. Flowers were already here. How do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. I just can't even imagine. <laughs> what? What are you thinking? It looks like Snow's coffin from the book. He's reenacted the scene with her lying here, surrounded by flowers. Mr. Smith put Lily to rest here. You're right. It fits. He's acting out scenes from the book. That poor girl. So by me it is, Mr. Smith. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... We can't know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Yeah. She must have been so scared. Oh yeah, we got the tape over here. Let's put the tape in. Bigby, this? I think I heard this music. Last night, it was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Could have covered up the sound of the murder. Hmm. Maybe she didn't see it coming. Uh, we got everything over here, yeah. Yeah, we got something on the bed. Get it together, beauty. Be strong. Uh, was this an apple? I didn't even see that. Do you smell something? No, just apple. Huh. Oh no, there's more. What? What now? It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh, no. Do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. Huh. He's just acting out another part of the book. That is true. Like, everything that see the whole we see is, like, got them from it the book. together, like you said. <coughs> the creep put that girl in the snow white dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. Thanks. So he planned it all out. He had all the details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Oh, wait, he found something else in there. Are those pictures of the dead girl? Is that her? How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh, no. Oh. Maybe. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. 
<clears throat> Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand in for Snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> Crane. Oh. <gasps> Oh, snap. Oh, I didn't even did not expect that. What? Now we step from the dead. Next time on the Wolf of Mondays. After you now. What? Good. I am dying to get my hands That was crazy. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I'm really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. I am going to shave your skin off one sheet at a time. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, baby. Is that you? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, guys. This was a really good episode, too, as well. Wow. Like, at the end of episode two, that was just crazy. I didn't even did not expect um, that it was basically him. You know, from the picture, that was just crazy. That was just unexpected. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but there you have it, guys. That's the end of episode two. Um, that well, this episode was short too. I believe you know, like all the episodes gonna be short. But I, like I said, that uh, I that's what I believe it is. I don't think the episode is gonna be long and stuff like that. But Besides that, you know, this episode was really good. Um, like I said, like, the story is getting pretty good, you know. Like, it's just getting me, like, more interesting. And, like, basically, like, what is happening in the story, like, it, it is really getting good. So, um, yeah, but <laughs> that was just a crazy ending right there on episode two. But, um, yeah, guys, but I hope you guys did enjoy episode two too as well with me and I hope you guys are really liking the story and the game as well if if some of you guys haven't played this game but uh yeah like I said I, I really am liking the game a lot and the story as well it, it's just really getting good so um yeah so we're gonna be up to when well, now we're gonna be on episode three so we already got Two more episodes left because in total it's five episodes. So we're we're only gonna have two more episode episodes left once you know when I start episode three. So hey, that's not that bad. <laughs> but um yeah. That was just a crazy ending right there. That's all I gotta say guys. <laughs> But I am really like liking the the story a lot because I don't know like it, for me it's just like it, it gets you like more interested in like what is gonna keep on happening you know what I mean guys but yeah that's just me but you know it is going crazy like the story and stuff so um. So yeah guys, so um, that's about it. I'm gonna end the game right there. Uh, I'm gonna end the episode 2. We finished it. I'm happy about it. Awesome. And uh, yeah, we are gonna, uh, we're gonna continue this game and we're gonna start episode 3. So cannot wait about that. And um... Yeah guys, that's about it. You know, I hope, I really am hoping that you guys are really enjoy the game and uh yeah just get ready for episode three 
because I cannot wait. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I gotta say. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys do, please like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, be down in the description below. As always, guys, this is your good name shot. Uh, there. See you guys in the next video, and I will see your gorgeous faces later. Peace, guys. And stay tuned for episode 3. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Peace.